Hey guys, I'm just Jersh, and welcome back to the next episode of The Binding of Isaac Repentance. Last episode, Tainted Esau got the better of us. Not today. Today's the day I'm feeling it. I don't know why. Final run. We're getting this bad boy done today. Uh, not only because I'm super excited uh, uh, about getting this series done with, but I, I'm, I'm just feeling like a special kind of way today. Now, I'm sure it'll only take about 10 minutes. Eh, that's pretty generous. I'm sure it will only take two minutes of this run for me to uh, instantly uh, have all of my hopes and dreams crushed as the game typically does, but we'll, we'll see. We're going to try to stay optimistic today. That's a good starting item. I'm very happy with the intruder. Um, I'm also very happy. I mean, I, look, I've, I feel bad. I've been saying this for like three straight episodes now where I'm like, I can't wait to get this game done with. And like, I keep saying it. That's unfortunate. Um, I keep saying it because it's true, but also I shouldn't continue being this rude to Isaac. Isaac has been there for us, uh, for, for a dang long time, and I'm happy to have that. We'll come back and get that later. I'm happy that it was. However, I gotta say, um, we, we got a couple new projects, A, that I've been, like, that are already in motion. <clears throat> like the, uh, uh, what is this room? That's a death trap. Um, like the Genshin Impact and Chill videos that I've been, uh, doing a little bit of. And also, um, the Super Mario 64 16 star speed run. We, uh, we did our, we did some practice a couple days ago. We learned some of the tricks. And we are, uh, we're gonna try to put it all together this Saturday and do our first ever run. It should be a very, very good time. I'm really excited. It's, it's like, oh my god. I've always had interest in speedrunning. Um, I, I think it's sick, basically. Like, I, I've always been... We'll try it. Well, that didn't take long. Um, I've always been super interested in speedrunning Crawl Space. Definitely from, like, a, a viewership perspective. Like, I love watching speedruns. I think... It's almost like, I know that there's literally eSports, but it's almost like the sports of the gaming world. With how good- this is a bad idea, I just realized. I mean, the leech is very good. Don't kill me, please. How do, how do I get you? <laughs> Stay right there. Come get me. Okay, was that worth leech? Mm, there could be some debates there. We're gonna use the moon card. Gonna blow this bad boy up. Okay, we're free. Could use some HP. Uh, we are one hit away from death, which is slightly concerning. Got in both of our secret rooms. I may just have to pick up the eternal heart for safety. Hate to do it, but I think I have to. Um... Yeah, I've always loved watching speedruns. I, I think it's it's similar to sports um, of the gaming world in terms of, like, how refined you have to be at your craft. Like, how, how good you have to be at the individual games. It almost feels like sports in a way, uh, which I really enjoy. And, of course, there's HP right there. That's unfortunate. We can get Black Candle if we can get just, like, a little bit more money. I think we need three more cents. Unless this contains the quarter, pretty unlikely, unfortunately. And it does not. Great shot, brother. Nice shot. A little tears up is wonderful. We're going to get an HP upgrade on the next floor. It's a pretty good start thus far. This is a pretty good start thus far. Okay. Um, yeah, I've always loved watching them, especially at the beginning of the pandemic. I went through a huge phase. First thing I did was binge Avatar The Last Airbender. Well, first thing I did was play a whole bunch of Animal Crossing because it came out like right when the pandemic started and I was like, oh cool, two weeks from home. That's perfect time to build my island and then I never did. Um, and then after I played Animal Crossing, I was like, okay, what's next? Oh, they just dropped a Avatar The Last Airbender on Netflix. Sure, well, I love that show. I love that show as a kid, I should say. Let's watch it again as an adult and see if it still holds up. Spoiler alert, it do. It do hold up. It's real good. <clears throat> um... And then after we finished that, I was like, okay, uh, what's next? And then I think Marie and I watched Rick and Morty, maybe? Because we're, like, very smart, intelligent people. Like, kind of genius level, almost, one might say. Uh, 
he turned himself into a pickle. Szechuan sauce. Um, references. Re Rick and Morty references. Rick and Morty references. Um, uh, Morty. 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 Did I do it? Did I do it? Did I... Have I shown off my uh, vast intelligence? I think I have. Okay, you go get that guy. Just, just be a little careful here with this guy chasing you. Just, just want to be a little cautious. Cautious. Do not get crushed here. The bone heart's nice. That's going to help protect our deal with the double chance. Uh, then after we finished Rick and Morty, we watched... I think the Dung and Rampa anime... And then by the time I got done with that, I was like, okay, there's nothing left to watch on planet Earth. That's a great item. This is a good start. This is a good start. After we finished the Dong and Rampa anime, I was like, there is no longer anything worth watching in the world. So what the heck do I do? And uh, I think SGDQ or AGDQ just happened to be going on around that exact same time. And I was like, all right, you know, let's watch some speed runs. Watched... Uh, I know I watched the Breath of Breath of the Wild speed run. Like that's what got me like super hooked. I was like, "Oh baby, watch them! Look at them shield surf off of that Bacoblin's head and go flying across the map. I'd never seen anything like it in my entire life. It's pretty epic. Nice shot. <clears throat> the damage up is wonderful. Now, do we want to do deal with the devil? I don't think we do. We actually managed to preserve our deal with the angel chance, uh, devil chance on this floor. I think we can risk it and go for the deal with the angel. You, you, you'd you love to have them both, but at the very least, you gotta have 4.5 volt. If we can get a library and somehow manage to get Book of Shadows, I don't know if you're impervious to Tainted Jacob's shenanigans uh, in that state, but if you are, then that's a potential one run. Okay, cool. So we can get into... It's the first time we've ever seen it. It's the first time we've ever seen it. It's the first time we've ever seen it, but I know what it does. It's the first time we've seen it, but I know what it does. That plus 4.5 volt may be enough to win the game. Maybe. So, this is Mega Mush, or, or whatever it's called. What it does... It is similar... Uh, to Mega Brim, to, to Mega Laser Brimstone, in the sense that it's got like a 30 charged charge bar and a guppy item. Are you kidding me? Well, now I kind of think we should have gone to the deal with the devil, but you know, too little, too late. Mega Mush. So, when you activate this item, you turn into a gigante form of Isaac, or in this case, Jacob, that is invincible. Now, you're impervious to damage, but the question is, are you impervious? Like, look, I can just step on stuff. But here's the question. Let's test it. I'm impervious to him. Oh, baby. Okay. So, we are impervious to uh, tainted... Esau's shenanigans. By the way, there's a lot of screen shake while you're playing as this character, so my apologies if you're gonna throw up. Um, this might be the run. This this might be the run. Now, it takes a while to charge up, obviously, but once you charge it up, once you charge it up, considering we have 4.5 volt, it may just stay charged forever. Have you considered the possibility that it just stays charged forever? We're going to play both of these guys. Because I think there could be some valuable stuff in here. But we want to make sure we do not lose the bone heart. Also want to make sure I do not accidentally... That's pretty awesome. That's pretty great. Thank you for the HP upgrade. I'm going to go grab my two HPs down here. Oh baby, we got ourselves a run. Alright. Don't frick this up. Do not freak this up. The deal with the devil's still there. I'm tempted to look. I'm tempted to look. It could be Guppy. Let's look. Let's look. Let's look. We got two HP upgrades on this floor. It's not Guppy. 
It's Satanic Bible, which is very good. Satanic Bible is very good for survival. I don't think we can risk it, though. If we get a deal in the future... Please, sire? Really? Sun card. Oh my goodness, is this the run of destiny? It may be the run of destiny. Um, I could peel myself, but I don't think I will. I could peel myself... I think at this point in time, the HP is more valuable. Okay, next floor. Next floor. Next floor. Grab this. Uh, do not lose the bone heart. Do not lose the bone heart. Where are we going? Beast fight? I think we're going beast fight. <sighs> calm, 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 calm. This is the run. Anyway, the Super Mario 64 speed run uh, is kind of like... Uh, I liked watching speed runs. Now that this is going to be my first speed run I've attempted, and I think just on paper... The 16 star speedrun is, I, I don't know if calling it the perfect speedrun is maybe going a little bit too far, but I think it is a near as close to perfection as possible. How do I mean? Well, it's not too long, which is pretty clutch for me. <laughs> I am a big fan of the fact that it's not... Some speedruns, like, uh, if you're out there doing the all Korok seed Breath of the Wild run, my thoughts and prayers are with you and your loved ones, because do you ever see them? Uh, that's like a, that's like a 68 hour speedrun or something ridiculous like that. Let's go. We want to do as much damage during this phase as possible. I mean, we're just like slaughtering everything. More damage we do during this, the faster we get it back. And we're invincible during this time, which is amazing. Just clear the floor. Okay, it's going away. So, 4.5 volt is nice, but we're definitely not charging it that fast. <laughs> we could be charging it faster. Uh, we only got, like, four rooms worth of charge there. I mean, we only did four rooms, so it's... It's not... Typically with 4.5 volt, I'm banking on... Uh, charging it faster than you otherwise would just by doing rooms. Right now, we're not getting that. And that's okay, for now. It really just depends on two things. A, how many enemies in the room. B, how much HP do they have? Because it's, it's damage based. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Um, blow them up, blow them up. We're invincible. I gulped something. I hope I didn't gulp something bad. Just looking for magic munch here, just in case. Would be pretty sick. Did not get many charges from this either, which is just a downright shame. It's okay though. Open that up. We're going to see what's inside. I mean, we've already gotten some great items thus far. Anyway, 16 star speed run. Oh my gosh, it's the best run. We can't, we can't choke this, man. This is the end of Isaac. It's the end of Isaac. And I love this game, but it's the end of it. And we can be free and play something else for the first time in a million years. And I'm, the prospect of that got me feeling some kind of way, man. We got to do it. Um, there's fun sh movement. You, you, you got to be like, have, you got to pull off some cool tricks. In terms of like jumping, triple jumping, etc., which I think is fun. There's glitches, perhaps the most infamous glitch of all time, the BLJ. Uh, and by the way, it's only there, there's boss fights. And by the way, it's like I mean the world record's like 15 minutes. Obviously, I'm not going to be anywhere near. I'm hoping if I can hit sub hour. That'd be pretty sick. We gotta check. Um, I, I hate that we do, but we have to check the curse room. Even though it's a thin curse room, it scares me. Because if we get hit, we die on the way out. But just don't get hit, forehead. And you'll be fine. Just give me as much time as possible. 
I should have known. If it's a thin curse room, I think it has to be this layout. Or sub. I don't think you can have an item, uh, is what I'm trying to say. So I shouldn't have even checked, but... The prospect of getting Guppy was too exciting to me. Um, the speedrun world record's like 15 minutes, but that does like backwards lobby long jumps, which I don't know how to do. Um, but if I can get under an hour, like that's a great speedrun. You could crank off a, a couple of those attempts in a single day and still feel pretty darn good about yourself. You're not wasting an, an entire afternoon. Like the, the thing that makes me want to throw up is the idea of doing like a three hour long speed run and then like choking at the last second. Glad we did this room before Tainted Esau spawned because this seems like you just lose. If you, if you get this room and you can't fly and you're fighting Tainted Esau, I think you simply lose. Um, yeah, the idea of doing like a three hour speed run, getting to the end of it, dying kind of makes me want to throw up a little bit just like a little baby barf in my mouth um so i think it's like a great length i think it's a great length of speed run so that's exciting uh it's got some tremendously fun famous everybody knows them tricks famous amos And of course, it's SM64. It's just a fun game to play. So I'm very excited. We're going to be doing our first attempt this Saturday. By the time this video comes out, look, my schedule is all messed up. I'm sorry. By the time this video comes out, it may have already happened. Sorry if you missed it. You could probably check the VOD. My goal is sub hour. I've been doing a little bit of practicing. I don't want to like master the whole speed run and then show up and like set a world record on my first attempt. Though, think of the YouTube title. <laughs> Uh, but that sounds kind of boring to me. Like, I think the, the whole idea of it for me is, like, learning a speedrun and then slowly practicing it and getting better at it over time. Double charge. I don't know if that interests me. I, I haven't decided yet if that interests me. I have not yet decided if that interests me. I think it probably does. We're gonna hold on to Mega Mush for now. Just kidding, I'm gonna pop it. And I saw a bunch of enemies. That's when I decided it was time. Just want to try to get as much charge out of it as humanly possible. And it's an instant boss melter. We did get an angel deal. Godhead, Godhead, Godhead. Seraphim's good. I'm not gonna complain about Seraphim. It's good. And we actually, for the first time ever, we actually got about half of our charge back. This has to be secret room. It is. Um, we actually got about half of our charge back there, which is very nice. We'll come on the way back. When that guy's behind us, we'll come grab that again. All right, this is going really good. Uh, but again, these runs can go horribly in the blink of an eye, so we want to be careful still. Um, can you imagine Magic Mush? Can you imagine? I haven't seen Magic Mush in so long. Dead Tooth? Nothing wrong with Dead Tooth. It's not fantastic in and of itself, but it's not bad. But yeah, that's been fun. Um, the Genshin and Chill series, uh, you know, numbies aren't that good on the channel, but I'm having a lot of fun with it. Uh, and it's a game I'm already playing regardless. So just, you know, getting some recording out of it as well. And I don't think, um, I, I don't know what exactly it is. For, for whatever reason, I got to give Isaac some credit. As much as it makes me want to rip my hair out sometimes... The banter uh, that it allows for, I don't, I don't really understand it because it's a game that actually, especially in the Repentance update, and I'm, I'm going like this character especially, it requires some serious focus. So I don't really understand how and or why uh, it works, in my opinion, so well for banter. Like it, it just kind of flows out. Like I'm really focused on what I'm trying to do on the screen. But the words keep flying out of my mouth, and I don't really know why. I'd like to play that, but I don't want to lose my bone heart, so I'm going to skip it. We could get spirit hearts from it, but it seems dangerous to me. And you know what? Let's go back in here. Let's see if we can't pick up a spirit heart from one of these. Six fires. You got to get at least one spirit heart or you don't. Um, yeah, I don't. I can't really explain it, but for somehow the banter just flows really well. 
and it doesn't seem to be flowing as well in Genshin, which is weird because I feel like Genshin, especially at the stage I am at AR58 or whatever I'm at, it's very autopilot. Um, unless you're doing something like Spiral Abyss. If you're not doing Spiral Abyss, it's it's a very autopilot kind of game. It's not a hard game. Ooh. You kind of just, you know, murder everything on your screen. Okay. Give me this. Let's get some charges. Let's get some charges. Let's murder enough baddies to get some charges. Let's murder enough baddies to get some charges. Do it. You can't open chests in this stage. Interesting. In this state, I should say. Interesting. This room pretty obnoxious. This room pretty obnoxious. Okay, we got somehow like negative um, charges. Does anyone want to explain? Anyone want to explain how in the world I got like negative battery charges for my spacebar item there? 4.5 volt, not coming in nearly as clutch as I originally thought it was going to, which is sad. I thought it could have been my savior, but it, it can be my angle or my devil apparently. And it's looking like the latter right now, which is kind of sad. Um, yeah, so I, I don't think Genshin and Chill is going to be, you know, the series that takes over for Isaac for... If Isaac goes away, I still haven't even decided if that's going to happen. Um, but if it does, I, I definitely don't think that uh, Genshin's going to be the series that takes over that, that mantle. I don't know. I gotta I gotta find something else. Another game that I can kind of just play on autopilot. Maybe it's gotta be another roguelite. I don't know. Something, uh... Isaac just... Oops, don't blow it up! Oh, I wasn't thinking. I wasn't thinking. I thought it was gonna be a normal one. I did not want to blow that up. Um, something about the Isaac format just, like, causes stuff like that to roll off of the, the dome piece very nicely. Uh, we'll, we'll find, maybe we'll find something else, or maybe Isaac will stay. This may just be, like, the perfect talking game, and I, I don't know why, but it, it just is. The conversations be flowing. It's a library. Uh, we're probably, even if we get bookish, wow, 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 I'm lucky. I don't know, Book of Shadows might be better than the Mushroom. Okay, we don't have to make that choice, thankfully. Book of Shadows, if it protects you from this guy, it might be better. Like, obviously, the DPS is going to suffer something fierce. We should go to our shop, even though it's probably going to be greed. Makes sense to go to our shop, so let's go find it. There it is. Which is fantastic. We're just, like, one wrong dodge away, and our speed's not great either. We could use some help from a speed perspective, but, like, if... Blanky is wonderful, and so is Nun's habit, probably. It helps a little bit. It helps a little bit. It, anything that helps get our spacebar item charged more quickly and more get more invincibility from Tainted Esau is good IMO. <clears throat> um, but Book of Shadows might actually provide us, because the charge time is so much lower, obviously we can't just step on things and destroy them, but it gives us invincibility more often, and for that reason and that reason alone, might be the play. I haven't decided yet, though. I also haven't decided if I want to go into that curse room. Every fiber of my being is telling me yes. In fact, I think I will go. I've only gotten one guppy item, so probably not going to bring the dream home. And that's okay. Boneheart didn't break, and we did charge our magic mush. During that time period. I think I'll save the magic munch for the next floor though. Let's start getting the, um, let's start getting the, wait, what? Did I have spirit hearts? I must have had spirit hearts. When did I pick up spirit hearts? Could not tell you. Could not tell you when spirit hearts were picked up. Do not care about the devil card. Let's just bring the, where the fool card go? Let's just bring the fool card. Let's also fight this room because why the heck not? If we get scared here, what's happening? What's happening? 
Okay, we're fine. If we get scared here, we can pop mushroom. I don't want to, but we can. If we can get two charges on this magic mush, it'll be even nicer. Because we could be building up a little bit in the background and then pop it when we need to and still have an extra charge ready to go just in case. Okay, let's fight the boss. I don't think we need the magic mush. I think we're doing enough Joe DiMaggio. We do not need it. Another angel deal is wonderful. The HP upgrade, also wonderful. Sigil of Baphomet is so good. Candle, also very good. Thank you. Um, this is tremendous. So, Sigil of Baphomet. Every time we kill an enemy, we get a brief period of invincibility. Candle's going to give us a uh, higher tier 8, which is nice. We could use a damage upgrade. If there's one thing I could complain about, we could use a damage upgrade. Save the fool card. Goal on this floor, uh, get to the end as quick as... We're, we're going beast. Get to the mom fight, quick as humanly possible. Now, does Sig Sigil of Baphomet, does the invincibility from that save us from... Tainted Yakob? If so, wonderful item. If it saves us from that, it's a wonderful item. I'm going to pop this because we're pretty close to another charge anyway. Get through the room. It's the mom fight already. That's amazing. That's fantastic. Did we really not go fast enough to get a... We didn't. Okay. Grab the Polaroid. Fool card. Don't crash my game. It didn't crash my game. I am shocked that that did not crash my game. But I'm also happy. We grabbed the Polaroid. So we are, we're good to head down to the, the next floor as soon as we want to. Murder this guy. About to lose this. Okay, so we can pivot at any time. What do we still really need? Um, That's kind of nice. I think Sigil of Baphomet's better. Um, both of the rooms we're interested in right here. So we'll go straight to the mausoleum after this. Um, Does car battery just straight up double the length? I think it might. We have to get it. I hate that you can't blow up your donation machine multiple times anymore. We're gonna we're gonna do the whole floor and we're gonna try to get six cents. It's a great item. <laughs> what can I say other than it's a great item? <sighs> today is the day. Today is the day. Do you believe that today is the day? I believe it is. Okay. You piece. Okay. Thank you for the spirit heart, though. Thank you for the spirit heart. We did lose a bunch of tears upgrades, which is kind of sad. It's okay, though. That's 11 cents. This is 12 cents. Three more cents, please. Three cents, please. We gotta find three cents. Gotta find three cents. Gotta find it. It has to be found. Please, three cents. Can't risk it, can't risk it. Three cents, man, three cents. Three cents, we need three cents. We need three cents. Curse room, probably not gonna have three cents. Secret room, could have three cents and could be right here. Three cents, man. Three cents. That's more than three cents. That's money, 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 money. Money. Okay, I think we win. Uh, I'm not going to say that because famous last words and all that. However, it's a good situation. And if, uh, if car battery does what I think it does and doubles the effectiveness the, or the effect of our spacebar item, aka if we have twice the charge time or the the duration if we get double duration on the mushroom we're gonna be able to use it for basically the entire floor and charge it up in the background in the meantime and never get hit by tainted esau these are all great things am i forgetting anything please tell me i'm forgetting nothing please tell me i'm forgetting nothing so we're gonna go in the next room we're gonna pop this. We're gonna stomp everything in sight. 
We're gonna go to the next room. We're gonna stomp everything in sight. This will be a good test to see if the effect is truly doubled. I mean, I wasn't like counting before or anything, but we'll go just based on feel. We should be able to go just kind of based on feel and say like, is this about how long I would expect this thing to be active or is it still going? Thank goodness that guy can't hurt us while we're going about our business there. This room is just a complete and utter waste of time. Get through. It feels like I don't want to... I don't want to percolate. I don't think that's the right word. I don't want to... Um, yeah, it's definitely doubled. It's it's still going. I don't, I don't know if you're noticing, but it is still doubled. Um... That would be great as well, but I doubt we're going to get 15 cents. It's going to be a little tougher to get 15 cents. We'll grab our spirit hearts on the way back. I'm sad we went the wrong way here because it, it took away a lot of our, our charge time there. Uh, my head is gone and I can't shoot. 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 Head is gone. Oh, I can't shoot here either. Um... So, um, what, what's happening? Um, I can't shoot. Please fix yourself, game. Um, I'm assuming that's just like a bug and it'll fix itself on the next floor. It's certainly better or I'm gonna scream. It's certainly better fix itself or I'm gonna scream if I've lost. Can't pick up items either is a little bit of a shame. Um, if it doesn't fix itself, that's, like, mad annoying. Let's, um, let's, let's wait for this to go away. I, I want to pick up the medallion. So let's, let's wait for it to go away. Oh, I could shoot again. I could shoot again. Okay, we're back. We're back. We're back. We're back. A little dicey there for a second, but we're back. Go through here, grab this little drive-by, boom, next floor. Can I shoot again? I could shoot again. Okay, I don't know what that was. Oh, you almost got me in the cutscene! Okay, I don't know what that was, but I hated it. And now we just get through the floors. Um, we could use the space bar item if we want, but I think I'd rather save it for the beast, you know? I think I'd rather save it for the beast. HP is doing amazingly. Or like I'd rather save it like if we take a hit on the floor. I'm assuming we can become the lost and we're still invincible. So I'd rather just like try to get through the floor and use it as like a panic button. That seems like a better use of it for me personally. Oh baby. Anyway, we're doing Super Mario 64 speedrun. It's super fun. You should come uh, watch it if you haven't yet. And we'll probably be doing more runs. I also have a lot of other projects on the side that I have not announced yet. I'll probably be making, um, once we beat Isaac, which, you know, is looking like maybe today. I mean, don't get me wrong. Oh, oh let me, uh, I forgot to say at the beginning because I didn't believe we were going to win because I thought this was going to take a thousand years. Um... By the way, we still only have 3.89 damage, but everything else we've gotten on this run is just so good, we can't lose. Um, if we win this run, we will be uh, live streaming tonight, whatever day this goes up. We will be live streaming our hunt for the final items in Isaac. However many there are that we don't have yet, however long it takes, that's what we will be hunting for. So just prepare yourselves. Should be a good time. Um, and we will get Dead God over at twitch.tv slash just Uh, if you're interested in watching, highly recommend it. I think it'll be a fun time. After that, um, I have an idea. Uh, so like, just stay tuned. Cause we're, so we're going to get Dead God. We're going to get Dead God. And then I have like one more thing I want to do. Um, one more episode idea that I have. Thank you, Invincibility, Sig Sigil of Baphomet, for saving me from turning into the Lost there. I got one more thing I want to do after the fact. Bro, these rooms are atrocious. Y these rooms are just downright filthy. 
it was right here the whole time. I got one more thing I want to do after the fact that I think will be a lot of fun. So get ready for that. Um, and then I'll probably make an update video. What, once I, I got some decisions to make. We're not through, by the way. We could still very well lose on the beast fight. It's a very small arena with not a lot of dodging space, and we're going to have a demon chasing us constantly. Um, I've got a lot of decisions to make about the, the future of the channel and about the... I shouldn't say the channel, but the, the future of this series and what other series we play. I'll tell you, I've had a lot of ideas percolating in my my brain for a while that I've been wanting to play through, but um, just have not been able to essentially due to time. I'm going to pop this here because this guy sucks. We essentially have not been able to simply due to time. T time has prevented us from being able to do all of the things that I, I want to do. And if there is, in fact, an opening or at least a clearing in the, the future uh, opened up by, you know, a vacancy left by Isaac, it might open some doors to finally get to do some of those things, which is personally for me very exciting. I'm a, I'm a boy who likes variety and just about everything in life used to be the exact opposite. Very much a change terrified me. Now I'm like... The idea of staying at the same job for more than like three weeks makes me want to throw up. I, I don't I, I don't understand how the generation before us was like, yep, uh, well, you're going to go to college and then you're going to find a place to work and you're going to work there for 40 years. Don't crash me. Well, it goes from floor to floor. I should have been using this the whole time. That's amazing. I didn't realize that worked the entire time. Definitely should have just been using that the whole time. Um... But yeah, you know, we've been playing the same game for like six years, so the idea of, of doing something else is exciting, but uh, but I also kind of miss doing Isaac Daily. So I, bottom line, as you can tell by my, hopefully by my discourse here, I don't know what I want to do <laughs> with the channel uh, and with Isaac on the channel. So I got to figure that out first and foremost, and then once I figure that out, then we can figure out how things look going forward. But I can tell you the future's bright. I got a lot of ideas, and uh, it's it's super... It's just exciting right now. Like, the Super Mario 64 speedrun is one I've wanted to do for a long time. And it's just super exciting to finally feel like I have the time necessary to, like, do that stuff. Um, I haven't felt like that probably since college. Like, uh, I just had a lot more free time in college, so I was able to do a lot more things with the channel. That's not very good. I was able to do a lot more things with the channel um, because of it, and that was awesome. I was able to do a lot of fun stuff with the channel in college just because I had so much uh, free time. Uh, so that was cool, and I, I haven't really had that level of free time since getting a full-time job. Life, life, life comes at you fast, basically. Um, so with limited time, you gotta kind of... You know, especially from a series perspective, you gotta pick what stay, what what goes. I can't just be like, I want to play. Like in the first, in the early days of the channel, play Crash the Nation. Your boy used to have like six ongoing series simultaneously. We had like two videos a day. We had like Isaac Monday through Friday, plus Fallout on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, plus a new game on Tuesday, Thursday, plus an indie game on Saturday, plus a weekly update on Sundays. It, I don't really understand how I used to have the time to do that. Because I can tell you, I certainly don't now. Um, and I miss it. <laughs> now, if I want to get a little pogged up... Can I just use this a second time? Yes, I can. Now, if I want to get pogged up and uh, add an extra series into the mix, um, something else has got to go. Because there's simply not enough time. Or I'm going to have to sell Banjo. One of the two. And spoiler alert, I'm not selling Banjo. Banjo, he gets on my nerves. Uh, he's never made me rip the hair from my skull quite like Isaac has. So, dude, I can't believe it. This is it. it the, it's our first time seeing Mega Mush. I, I think that may have been one of the unlocks we needed to pick up. So, one less thing we're going to have to pick up. Barring complete catastrophic failure, which thanks to 4.5 volt doesn't seem likely... 
barring complete and utter catastrophic failure, I think we're gonna be playing, I think we're gonna be streaming Isaac tonight. Twitch.tv slash just Jershin. Whatever day this comes out, I'll, I'll make sure it's a day I'm available. Twitch.tv slash just Jershin. We're gonna be available. We're gonna be playing. We're gonna be hunting for the final items that we need to pick up in Isaac. Probably just doing some Isaac runs to make it happen. I can't believe it. It's been a long journey. Repentance is has been really tough. Easily the toughest of all of the updates up to this point. Afterbirth Plus was very difficult as well, but it was kind of just like... They took away all the damage upgrades, so it was hard. This was genuinely hard. The bosses were great. The endings were fantastic. And all I can really say is thank you guys so much for joining me on the journey. Esau Jr. and Death Certificate have appeared in the basement, ladies and gentlemen. I thought this was going to take a lot more attempts, but the gods of Isaac smiled upon me today. Tainted Isaac. Tainted Maggie. Tainted Kate. Tainted Judas. Tainted Blue Baby. Tainted Eve. Tainted Samson. Tainted Azazel. Tainted Lazarus. Tainted Eden. Tainted Lost. Tainted Lilith. Tainted Keeper. Tainted Apollyon. Tainted Forgotten. Tainted Bethany. Tainted Jacob. And all the normal characters as well, who I'm not going to reiterate because it was harder than I thought it was going to be. Every single post note in the game done. I feel like a like a wave of relief. That feels so good. All we have left to do. We've unlocked every item in the game. There's a couple items on here we have not yet picked up. Let's take a look. We're looking for question marks. We're looking for question marks. Not like this. This is just an item. We're looking for question marks. There might be one on this screen. I don't see any on this screen. That's just more options. We're looking for question marks. I think we're good. Here's a question mark. Boom. Whatever's after Book of the Dead, probably a, a tainted forgotten item. Gotta pick it up. That's one item. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are eight items out there that we have never picked up. We're going to go live tonight. Twitch.tv slash Just Jershin. We're going to farm for all these items. Excuse me, I'm going to throw up. We're going to see what they do. And when we pick up the very last one and put a magical bow on the end of this series, possibly, we will have the Dead God achievement. 1,300 hours of runs later, it finally may be coming to an end. But hopefully you'll be there. Hopefully you'll join me. Twitch.tv slash Just Jershin. Uh, as we farm that those final items thank you guys so much for watching not just this episode but the entire series it means a ton uh if it again this this will not be the last episode i can promise you if uh, i got some decisions to make and if this does end up uh if the series does end up you know coming to a close we'll we'll do it in style i promise you thank you guys so much for watching if you did enjoy please consider showing some support down below liking commenting subscribing i'll help out a tremendous deal you can share with your grandmother as always, but with that, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.